Hello, everyone. Yes. So you have received the printer, and after the printing, this uh, education will show you how to do post uh, process for the prints. So after printing, we need to open the door. Come. So we can have a little shot. A, it's a flat like this. Your print would be located by this way, and. Uh, we want the reading to dip into the vat, so we have to move your a uh, move your platform because on the on this building plate we have one of the chamfer, so we can make it a little bit with angle to to this. By this way, all the reading will dip into the vat, so we don't have to waste the reading. And then we uh, probably you, it will take uh, thirty minutes. And the next, we need to turn in the back. What I printing here? Uh, this is uh, a, a SpaceX. Yeah, some components for the SpaceX. And now I printing like this. And uh, on your mm, desktop, you leave uh, some paper, some tissue to clean it. And for me, I have the, the dust bin to clean this. Each of the prints is very detailed by the CGR 4K printer. When you take it off, out, you need to close the door. Ah, moment. You see, we have some zip of the resin on the surface of, the, of your printer. You need to clean it immediately. So it won't... Uh, ruin your printer and then okay we need to use your scraper to take it off yeah oh oh and later we can we can pick them up some more All right, so we have taken all of them off. Now it's clean. We can uh, reinstall the building plate back to your printer. So you can go to the next print. So now I will reinstall it. And lock the bolts and close the door. Okay, finish. We finished the printer. And now we have to print. It's a little bit uh, dusty. We need to clean it. So now this is an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh huh. And uh, we this one is a standard one hole resin. We use the alcohol to clean it. We put this inside. Two. Three. Four, five. Ah, uh, some small stuff. Six. One more. It's a little sticky right now, but it's okay. And we need to turn on this machine. It's uh, initiated in ten minutes. So now it's cleaning now. You can use your hand. It doesn't matter because I have the glove. So it will protect your hand from... From get a touch the alcohol directly. And then you can use your hand, use your finger to move to make sure it cleans very well. Wow, pretty good. Uh, never put your prints in this without care. Uh, for for now time, if over 10 minutes, it would become very soft, very, very soft. So we have to uh, clean it within two minutes. You can use your finger 
And if you have a brush, you can use your brush to clean it too. See? It's alright, almost okay. So it's uh, 1 minute 10 seconds now. Still a little more. Okay, uh, almost two minutes. I turn off the cleaner. Ah, moment. Let me use one of the ah, tissue. Then this is a one hot box man. One, the curing box. You see, we need to uh, now because say during the printing, it's uh, not fully cured. Only on the surface, some of the area was cured, but the inside is still like liquid. So we still need some uh, machine to make it 100% cure. So this one, we take it off and we put it into the curing box. It doesn't matter because inside the curing box is uh, 360 degree fully curing. So it doesn't matter. So we take it off and put it onto the, the box. Okay, you can see the detail of the prints. It's really very nice. Some of them with a little, uh, little support. We can take it off after the printing, after the curing. Wow, it's like glass. Okay, let me check one more, two more. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Always you can use your napkin uh, to clean, to make it dry. Okay, so now we put them inside the inside the the box man now so we locate it oh well, I will try and let me check we have to now you cannot start the machine because it has a oh sorry uh, because we have the protection you will ruin your eye can heavily injure your eye so always close the door and then uh, you can start usually we have a uh, 20 minutes this equals to one year's sunshine to your products with the UV light. Okay, we started the machine. It will take some time to cure. Uh, usually less than 20 minutes. For this small part, um, just five or four minutes would be okay. You will be fully cured. And because this is a very powerful one, we have a uh, around 150 watt so it's um, very powerful especially for medical use okay during this time I want to show you some of the prints uh, after the after curing and we can see you can see the, the detail of the prints yeah some of them with the supports and this is a four year uh, for the Siemens year form so after the full curing it will be very solid like this and you can get off the support and the, everything is done and uh, also this machine curing box has a ventilation system so all the this will keep it warm inside, reach to 60 degrees centigrade, and also evaporate all the air, all the liquid out of this. So make sure you will have your window open 
during you doing the process. I don't want you, uh, us to have the issue, problem. So the air will get inside. The some of the toxic air can get get out of the window. Okay, I will stop this. And oh, let's check. Wow, it's uh, become dry now, almost dry. Look, the prints. We are printing. And here you can see, wow, it's not clear. Uh, SpaceX here. This is a space shop, a uh, spaceship. Okay, uh, so this is uh, the cap, which is uh, located on the top of it. Uh -huh. we, we have the support area with the support, so we cannot cover it fully, but now it looks okay. So after uh, around five minutes, it will be fully cured, and we can put this outside to uh, wait it to be dry, or we can put it under the sun to be sunshine dry. So, okay, that's the post process uh, for your prints. Thank you for your watching.